today's September 28, 2023. I was thinking to myself now, how do I determine what the right stop loss amount is? Do I allow it to reach a certain amount and then find out and turns out to be incorrect, relying on my relying on my uh, skills to select the stock? Or am I looking at a situation where the probability right now is 50-50? So what I need to do is I need to I need to obtain a more realistic probability uh, setups that allows me to rely on a bigger stop loss, which means that when I select a better setup, then my stop loss will not create a thousand cuts and loses. Like today, I, I did like 12 trades and 12 trades were stopped out, but these 12 trades were significant. So until at a point where I can determine what that is, I may have to set the stop loss to be twice the uh, the spread. And so if it reaches that while I'm setting it, then it's going to be stopped out at that moment or stopped out at uh, at a stop loss. So I need, to, I need to do that so that it allows me to uh, study more and develop a better skill set in determining the setups that I can take within the intraday. And I what I attempt to do is if the trend is moving in my direction, I'll allow it to go. But if it's not, then I, I tend to stop out and, and, and exit the trade immediately. But when those things are compiled every few minutes, within an hour or two, I could be losing like 12, 12 straight losses. So in order to, even if I lose 12, 12 uh, straight losses, uh, in order for me to minimize that loss, I need to set it so that the amount of stop loss is small so that I can keep trading to understand how that works. So in the meantime, what I'm going to be doing is practicing so that I actually see what things uh, develop while I'm trading so that I can recognize what's happening to the trades. And so that is the best way of really looking at the chart and then forming my own ideas about what particular shapes are forming and what to anticipate is going to happen. Anticipation.